we are very, very pleased that you're here. And we're very pleased that Julie Koner is here. She is the founder and the CEO of Voices of the Generations Incorporated. She's the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. She's a trained educator. She's been a teacher in public and private and in Jewish religious schools in Los Angeles for 30 years. She has a BA in psychology, master's degree in educational counseling. In 1990, after her mom passed away, she became compelled to share her mother's Holocaust story with others in the hope that many could learn from this story. A story of love, a story of overcoming hardship, fierce racism, deprivation, and pain of war, and human depravity for sure. Her story is growing up as a child of a Holocaust survivor, which has motivated other children of survivors to share their stories too. Julie has traveled all over. She told me last night that she's addressed groups of seven and groups of over 750. She specializes in dealing with young people, answering their questions, and giving them praise for the acts and the eagerness and the sensitivity that they show on behalf of others who are bullied or who become victims of hate. Her programs move and inspire people of all ages, but especially the young adults, inspiring them to take a look at adversity and the world around them, and not to give up with what they see, but to see for themselves and determine for themselves that the world can be improved, and it can be better, and it can be more ethical, and more safe and loving for us all. Dear ones, please join me in welcoming, at long last, to Temple Sinai, Julie Cohen. Thank you, um, Rabbi Cohn and the Holocaust Memorial Project, uh, Director Sandy Levy, and uh, Rabbi Matthew Reamer for inviting me this evening. We're gathered here tonight to commemorate the event that occurred in Germany 78 years ago, known as Kristallnacht, the Night of the Broken Glass. Although we didn't know it then, it was the beginning of the Holocaust. In one night, the lives of thousands of families were changed forever. This was the tip of the iceberg. <coughs> Very few had any idea of the horror and devastation that was yet to surface. I am the child of two Holocaust survivors with two different experiences of survival. Unfortunately, in today's world, which often exhibits a lack of civil discourse, we know that way too much discrimination, suffering, famine, and inhumanity still occur. I understand, and I'm sure you do too, that if we don't learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. By learning from the horrendous experiences of the past, maybe we can work together to make the world a better place. We are never too old to learn. I recently spoke to the amazing students and teachers at Whitwell Middle School in Tennessee. In this small town with no Jews and a depressed economy, the students developed the paperclip project to learn about the Holocaust. They've taken a stand. They do not stand idly by. I'm here tonight because when my mother died in 1990, it became my obligation to not stand idly by, but to honor her memory and her story by teaching it to others. I was encouraged and influenced in my early efforts by my rabbi at University Synagogue in Los Angeles, 
Rabbi Alan Freeling, who is now part of your community here in New Orleans, and as you heard before, helped to facilitate my being here with you tonight. I too want to publicly thank him. Some of you here today are too young to have ever seen or heard about a television show called This Is Your Life. Others of you remember that in 1953, it was a show everyone watched each week, eager to find out who the surprise guest would be. I'm here tonight to tell you about one special This Is Your Life show, a show about my mother, Hannah Block Coner. Although, it's, although we're talking about a show that was produced over 60 years ago, this is not just about the past or the present, but about the future. For I have a responsibility of ensuring that Hannah's story is not forgotten.